Hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. Today is the second day of what we call pre-winter here in Calgary. Um, we shorten that to pwinter. Think of Barbara Walters saying printer, pwinter. So it's unusually warm for the second day of pwinter here in Calgary. It's about 29 degrees Celsius. For those of you not in the rest of the world, that would be you in the US, that's about 84 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm rushing this review out to you because it might save you some cash and some frustration. Just over a month ago, I saw this supposedly new model of Moon Man that was just called acrylic. That was my first caution that this might not be the real deal. There is no model number, which is unusual for Moon Man, and no Moon Man logo on the number five size nib also not typical of Moon Man. When the Moon Man M2 came out about a year ago, it was very, very popular, and within months we started seeing what looked like the same pen on eBay for about three or four dollars US when the M2 was selling for about 15 to 18 dollars US. They were knockoffs, of course. They were not marked Moon Man, had generic nibs, and were injected molded plastic and not turned acrylic like the original. However, this pen was priced at $23 US on the Easy Buy store at Etsy, so I figured I'd give it a try and see what was up. Plus, the acrylic here looked interesting and had an acrylic section, which was also rather interesting. I received the pen just a couple of days ago, which is well within a month of ordering. That's excellent. However, there are issues both with how this pen was damaged in transit and with the authenticity of the pen. There is some serious buyer beware information coming at you right now. Well, the desk is a bit of a mess right now, but I got a package in the mail, so I thought I'd unbox it, find out what it is. I know it isn't my pen BBS because I ordered that in April. I think this pen was ordered in June. Let's find out what it is. And this, not sure what this is. It was, uh, I purchased it as a Moon Man acrylic. No model number, just Moon Man acrylic. And then it came up on the same ad as a Jinhao. And of course there's no markings on the nib. And there's no markings on the converter. So your guess is as good as mine what this is. So it was advertised as a Moon Man. It does not feel like the quality of a Moon Man, but uh, we will clean it out and do a review and see whether we can get any information on what it is. So forgive the mess because I'm putting this video together in a hurry and I didn't take time to clean up my my workspace but now that I've thoroughly examined this pen there are more issues with it other than the fact that it is bent and twisted and or melted in transit. Even if this pen were not damaged I'd have issues with it. Not only is it a fake Moon Man, it is now a fake Jinhao too. Between the time I ordered the pen and the time I received it, Easy Buy has changed the pen's listing from Moon Man to Jinhao. So it's a Jinhao acrylic, not a Moon Man acrylic on Etsy right now. But calling this pen either a Jinhao or a Moon Man is a disservice to those inexpensive Chinese fountain pen manufacturers. So I'm going to call it either a Moon Hao or a Jin Man from now on. It does prove how popular the Moon Man and Jin Hao brands have become, however. Just note that these are two different companies. You'll also see pens for sale calling themselves Delike Moon Man, again, two separate companies. I think even the Chinese resellers are getting confused between a Moon Man fountain pen and a Delike New Moon fountain pen. It's lunacy, I tell you. Pinwheels! Pinwheels in my head! Voices! Angry fish! How's he doing? Not good. He still thinks this is practice of some sort. So, how can I tell that this is not a Moon Man or a Jin Hao, but a Moon Hao or a Jin Man? Simple. This is a piece of crap. 
Uh, you notice I didn't say Oh, sorry. For those of you offended by the word crap, I apologize. This pen is a piece of doo-doo. Doo-doo! Three turns to get the cap off and enormous threads with very, very sharp edges. Very thin, lightweight acrylic with no chatoyancy at all. Flat, plastic, cheap looking, cheap feeling. The nib is friction fit inside a glued in collar. Um, there's nothing wrong with another number five size nib, but this is not marked Moon Man or Jin Hao. This is a generic, uh, cheap, well, they're all cheap anyway, but it doesn't even have branding on it. The feed is the cheapest thing I've ever seen. That shiny plastic doesn't look good to me at all. Uh, of course, maybe it got shiny when it slightly melted. Who knows? So that's the cheapest thing I've ever seen until you get to the converter. And the converter, which doesn't really even fit well inside there, is wobbly moves this way again it could be because it melted look at this plastic here now that could be damaged because it melted but how hot could this have gotten inside this pen the pens section takes standard international cartridges which actually fit better than the converter does which really slops around in there the barrel will take so you put a standard international cartridge in that section and another one uh, facing the other way in the barrel, it will accept two piggybacked. So one nice thing you can say about this pen. The clip here is really flimsy, like you're going to bend that out of shape. Not anything close to Jin Hao or Moon Man standards. And the cap ring. You probably can't see that, but it spins nicely around in circles. Now that's either a fidget spinner or a feature, but I suspect it's because the whole thing is shrunk uh, because of the heat. Although I suspect a quality acrylic resin would not react to heat like this. The lack of any kind of depth to this finish really convinces me that this is just cheap plastic. Now, I'm no chemist. This is the very copy of the Handbook of Chemistry and Physics. Uh, to explain the difference between cheap plastic and the kind of hard, clear, chatoyant acrylic used by Moon Man, Jin Hao, or Pen BBS, but I can definitely tell that this is cheap doo-doo. Now, I'm not saying that Moon Man and Jin Hao can't make really cheaply made $5 US pens, but this pen is priced at $23 US, but is in the same ballpark as this Jin Hao Centennial. Nice solid clip. Branded Jin Hao. Quality materials, quality acrylic, quality threads. And this Moon Man M600S with really chatoyant acrylic resin real acrylic resin solid clip moon man branded nib whoops yeah i took the moon man nib out but anyway you get the idea this is not in that same ballpark this pen isn't worth five dollars us more like two dollars us with free shipping and even then it isn't worth inking i'm not going to ink this pen or even try to do a writing sample with it I cannot recommend you buy this pen for any amount of money. It's a ripoff. I've contacted Easy Buy and Sally offered to give me a $6 US refund. I said no and asked for a full refund or a full refund as a store credit. I still have two pens on the way from this Etsy seller. We will see what, uh, quote, Sally, end quote, says. We interrupt this program to bring you this update. I've just received a message from Sally on Etsy that I'm getting a full refund for this pen. And uh, she's changing the listing from Jin Hao or Moon Man to something else. Don't know what it is, but uh, I thought you'd like to know. Inquiring minds indeed. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. 
in the meantime don't waste your time or money on this pen even though it looks nice in the photos it does come in a number of different very pleasant colors uh, and even if it doesn't come to you melted I suspect that you'll be disappointed I mean look at this pen BBS 487 magnetic filler in an amazing turned acrylic and some of the best quality in a pen at any price point and it's only $12 US more than this flimsy piece of doo-doo I will show some quick size comparisons here so you can get an idea of how big this pile of fake poop is um, and then I will show some measurements so let's look at some size comparisons first okay here is the Moon Hao Jin Man and here it is with a Jin Hao Centennial a Lamy Safari a Wing Song 626 there's some there's some chatoyancy that's acrylic let's just compare it to this nothing in guitar in the guitar world we call a fake mother of pearl or fake abalone shell mother of toilet seat so that's what I would call this this is mother of toilet seat so maybe we'll change the name of this pen to the moon how mother of toilet seat and here is a Jin Hao 51a with a really nice acrylic chatoyancy look at that see and this is an inexpensive this was twelve dollars this was 23 this was 12 so there's the 51a let's see them posted <laughs> Here are the pens posted and you can see that the the Moon Howe Jin Man mother of toilet seat has a very narrow section you'll see in a moment in the measurements that this is very narrow so even if this were a nice pen at all it would be almost too narrow for me this is a Jin Howe number five nib on uh, this pen right here and the section is actually very comfortable and a little bit bigger than that one so now let's look at some measurements so no writing sample because Sally might like this piece of melted poop back to resell and I don't want to ruin it with any ink so there you have it if you like this video please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get an instant notification whenever a new video is posted and that just leaves it for me to say thank you for watching and that's all she wrote i made this